When working with single zone pads, such as two pads connected to a single input, eDrummon allows you to enable a feature called Edge Sense. Edge Sense is a form of positional sensing. When I hit the center of the pad, the indicator in the control is near zero. And as I move up towards the edge, the indicator moves to the right side of the control. What I can do is set a threshold between what is considered a head articulation and what is considered a rim articulation. And there's also a scalar control that lets you adjust the velocity of the cross stick or side stick. Now there's one catch. Edge sense is not going to work perfectly on every pad. So what I thought I'd do today is take a look at all the different pads that I have and see how well they perform. So first up is this Tom pad from my old Roland HD1. This pad performs really, really well. Uh, I'm able to do very soft, very fast rolls on the head of the pad and also on the rim with no false triggering. I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10. All right, next up, we'll take a look at this Roland PDX 125. It's a dual zone pad, so I've set it up to uh, mono input. So we're only gonna be processing the head sensor. Again, this pad performs really well. I can do fast rolls on the head, fast rolls on the rim with no false triggering. Next up is this DDT-130. This one does not perform so well. You can see that I'm getting some side stick articulations when I'm doing fast rolls. I'm gonna give this pad a three out of 10. Don't get me wrong, it's a great pad, and when you use both zones, it triggers reliably. It just doesn't work well with edge sense. Okay, um, next we'll go over to this Yamaha TP65S. I actually got this triggering really well. Okay, but there's some caveats. So first, I had to use a scan time of 3.7 milliseconds. If I tried to drop it down too much, um, I just couldn't get good results. Secondly, the area where I can get that side stick to trigger reliably is a little bit limited. As I go too far to this edge here, it doesn't work. Okay, so I just got that top half of the pad. But in practice, it's not a problem. And overall, it performs very well. I'm gonna give it eight out of 10. All right, I have two more pads to show you, but I need to move things around a little bit. Next up is this Roland PDX-8. It's actually a single zone version. It came with my HD1 as well. Again, this pad performs very, very well. I'm gonna give it a nine. Last up is this Yamaha pad. I'm not exactly sure on the model number, but I'll put it in the description. While the edge works really well, there are some places on the surface of the pad that are triggering the side stick as well. I'm gonna give this one a four out of 10. So if you have any drumming and you know that Edge Sense works well with one of your pads, um, why don't you leave a reply in the comments?